Hi, my name is Cindy Rang. I'm Brenna Matskas, and today is our Wednesday box opening. Hello again. Hi. <laughs> so if you are new to our channel, uh, we are a mother-daughter duo. We have a quilt shop in central Washington state. Uh, it's about a 5,000 square foot shop with over 10,000 bolts. And you can visit us here or you can find almost everything. Yeah, I suppose there's a lot of stuff in the shop that's maybe not online, but a lot of stuff online at fabricpatch.net. And um, what we do on Wednesday nights and Sunday afternoons at 12.30 is we do a box opening. So everything brand new that has just come into the shop, we're going to open so that you can see it for the first time. Yeah. And it was funny, we just finished, so we not only have the shop and the um, online stuff, uh, also we have um, classes and tutorials of over 450 videos on our YouTube channel, new ones going up all the time. But we also have a retreat center, three different ones actually, um, for tiny groups, medium sized groups, and large groups that you can come and, oops, to the dog. You get the dog. Oh, loving on the dog. <laughs> Not on purpose, apparently. And we just finished a, um, a retreat. Uh, that we had hosted uh, just this last weekend. And it was funny because what they were calling them were the knockoffs, which I don't mean to knock offend anybody because I don't really know, but we were watching. There's other people now that are doing box openings. Oh, good. Yeah, it was really good. It's like, oh, and so we, everybody has a little, you know, shtick or whatever. And so it's kind of fun. We started doing ours in COVID because we were so sick of talking about masks and <laughs> disease. <laughs> right. <laughs> And, oh, we got a box. And they were Let's totally see shut down. And yeah. I mean, shipping, I guess, got delayed and everything like that too. But we still got things that we'd already paid for. So why not show everybody who can't come in the store and right. get it anyways? Why do you have to wait for new stuff just because we're not open? And there so. was a time there that probably for six weeks that we didn't get a single box. Yeah, that's true. And so it was kind of fun to get them. And we... You have Nana's yeah, I know. <laughs> just shake, shake the zero. <laughs> <laughs> and so um, so now we get boxes every day, and they get kind of um, stacked up over there, but we only open them uh, twice a week, so that you guys can see. And uh, we're a hot mess still. Okay, we're going to try this again. So we'll see. So, we'll see. so um, she has not napped yet. So we also do, on Wednesday mornings, we do something that we just call Fabra Chat, and we just sit and have coffee for 30 minutes and just kind of talk about nothing. You know, things that are coming up. And she was sleepy this morning. She thinks she's getting a tooth. It's possible. And now she knows she's trapped. And her eyes are closed. <laughs> and she will not take a nap. <laughs> so now she's just an emotional hot mess. Yeah. <laughs> and that's the sleepy song. If I sing a song. making you sleepy. The idea is to stay awake. <laughs> I'm not sleepy. I'm not sleepy. Look at those red eyes. I know. <laughs> Crazy. Crazy for Coco Puff, man. <laughs> you funny girl. Yeah. This might not work anyway because we end up getting so... I don't want to hug you. Sorry. <laughs> She's looking at me like the audacity you have. <laughs> look at that look. Sorry. Third time to charm. Baby girl is asleep. We went on the block. <laughs> Car seats will do it every time. Yeah. <laughs> so. <laughs> yes. Yeah, so much for the snuggles. <laughs> um, all right. So uh, anyway, so let's see. So let's go ahead and have the boxes to open. I think the last time that we saw you guys uh, Sunday, we had our retreaters here, friend. and yeah. it was kind of fun seeing stuff. And I was excited to see that. What was the moon one? I was actually able to get a panel of that. Yeah, to the moon, which is to really the cute. Moon. Oh. Well, activities to do on the moon. I Look mean, I thought if there's you more missed border that. Print. Yeah, it's good that there's enough left. I think it's because all of the Tula best friends, besties, besties, besties mm -hmm. came in. That was um, 
big hot seller. I think everybody's been waiting for that. We did get quite a few of the pre-cuts. I think there's still some pre-cuts left and there's some fabric left, mm -hmm. so look at that. But if that's all you had eyes for was Tula, go back and look at that. To the moon. Um, to the moon. And again, everything's yeah, in the what's new section. Yeah. So you'll see the stuff we opened today, and then just below that, you'll see mm -hmm. the Tula, the to the moon, everything we opened um, Sunday. Yeah. Yeah. Really nice. All right. Okay, this E.E. E. Shank box. Shank has black, black oh. stars. Um, it's from Louis and Irene. It is oh. Cel Celestia. Oh, it has metallic. Oh, and pink. Oh. oh, that's cute. That's all really different from what Annabri usually puts out. Yeah, is it? We usually yeah. Wow, that's really cool. That one oh. has like those night moths in it. This is cute. And there is there is really pretty gold metallic on all the other piece. Wow. Or maybe every piece. I don't know. I've got one with no metallic yet. Wow. It's really pretty. Oh, it's like lunar. Oh, look how pretty this one is. Oh. This is their bumbleberry texture oh, yeah. with uh, metallic stars on it. But yeah, it looks like all of it has metallic on it. Okay. So, a little so more we'll, um, what we'll do is we um, will take the plastic off really fast. And yeah. then we'll, oh my sure, gosh, yeah, that it's really pretty, like isn't it? New. This is really cool. Unfortunately, it's way cooler in person, but I'm quite sure that you're going to be able to see through the camera. There's no way it's, it's going to be as pretty. It's really camera. cool. Yeah. If someone who likes celestial fabric but maybe doesn't really like the, because Andover is usually who has the really the coolest celestial stuff that's super metallic, has this really cool sun, has all of it going on. This one has kind of toned it down a little bit. Mm -hmm. It's very like sitting in the garden looking up at the stars. It's very serene. elegant. Yeah, English. it's. It's really cool. I really like it. It's really pretty. Okay, yeah. we'll show you. And some really cool colors. Yeah. Colors and that I, yeah. aren't the norm. And I just think that there's no way you have to look in the camera, Brianna, but there's no way it's going to be as pretty on the camera as it is. It is mm -hmm. so pretty. The colors do come through really well. Can you see so how maybe gorgeous they'll that see. is? Mm -hmm. I feel like you can. So it's so I think a it's tiny so it's little one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, only ten pieces. Um, and um, and let's see, not a lot of textures, so maybe we'll show it that way. This is kind of the main texture. And so it's got, if you look at this, so there's got there's a moon and then a couple other planets, a sun, and this is gold metallic, gold metallic, gold metallic little gold tie everywhere you can see that yellow it is gosh look at that maybe hold it up that way mm -hmm. isn't that beautiful that's like a and parchment a, background mm -hmm. and then this is you know oh yeah this one is the exact same print and is it a black or is it a deepest I think deepest that deepest one's... blue no i think it's black oh they can't see it very well but you're holding it how about, how about if there I look like that? That's better. Is that better? Because this one, it just makes the gold really stand out. And then this is kind of purpley. And then this is sort of a, I don't know, a, peri a pale periwinkle. Man, I just love this. It's really Could you fun. imagine this with like a pillow? And it's soft. I think sometimes people ask about uh, metallic, but it's super soft. You wouldn't know. Yeah, it's, uh, it's just scratchy. a finish. Yeah, uh -uh. It doesn't fleck off. That's my bad. No. Uh -uh. And then there's these two, and this is just the clouds and the stars. And again, that's all metallic there. And that's with that dark black with kind of a pale. And then here's the parchment -y one. Same idea. And then that brumble pattern. That, uh, yeah, bumbleberry. Right, bumbleberry with the gold stars on it. And this one is in kind of that real pale and then this one is in the blue and black. Oh, I mean, just that piece alone. Yeah, I love that piece. Mm -hmm. And then the other one is there's a floral that they added to it, which I think is pretty cool because this, I don't know if you noticed that there was a little bit of this pink in the other one. There was a couple planets that had a little bit of pink to them, super subtle, really pretty. And then same thing with this purple. There was a little bit of purple on the black one, so really nice just to add a nice little supportive piece. And then finally this one, which is kind of a mixture of both. 
So it's got the planets, some of the plants, and then even little butterflies and moths, I guess is what they must be. And there it is with the black, and this is the one with the parchment. It's pretty awesome. Do you think we should do maybe some pre-cuts? Yeah, I think and we could. And if we did, we could do them in the... Should we separate them out and and do five of the light and five of the dark? Or do no, you think I we should just all say, get all of them? Yeah. I kind of agree. I think they all really complement each other really well. It's really nice. Really well done and just super soft. Mm -hmm. Really pretty. Okay. What do you think you're going to do? You think you want to do... Um, um, I'll probably do half yards and some fat quarters. Half yards and fat quarters. Yeah. Half yards are kind of nice. We've been doing that more and more often um, for the half yard cuts because then you could do something if you're doing a stash buster, if you're doing yeah. um, a Bargello. Our, our, we have a quick and easy Bargello. We have a um, Brianna's Baby Bento, mm -hmm. which is a really cool or one. Or a wood pile if you wood still want to cut them up. Yeah, then you've got mm -hmm. um, large enough pieces that you can do something kind of fun with them. Yeah. Okay. Super cool. Okay. Right. Um, I have a lone, really big box, and I feel like, um, oh, is it going to be the box? It's probably a, um, it's, it's like a slight oh, fabric. So how many more of these do we, I think there's one more. So the Riley Blake, oh, she didn't make sure, oh, that's what it is. So the Riley Blake, um, uh, these are pretty cool. A lot of you guys, uh, we allowed pre-selling with this because we had to pre-purchase them. And so uh, there are 12 of them. And they are, they are calling them a bench pillow. They are 16 by 38. But of course, you could make it a table runner if you didn't want to uh, stuff a pillow in it. You could do a wall hanging. They all come with this really cool box. It has this little magnetic closure. The boxes alone are super And it awesome. really is a pale, like, blush pink. So I'm just fading off of my neon yeah. sweatshirt. <laughs> yeah. Right. Comes with a full-size color pattern uh, that has the... Uh, all all of the instructions. instructions and then all of your fabric, including your binding. I think it does not include your backing. Yes. Because then if you want it to be a wall hanging or a table runner or uh, the bench pillow, which is what they suggest, then you mm -hmm. can make all of those decisions. So um, you can check those out because do we have we have some of the other ones left. I have some of the other ones left. So if you want some other ones, yeah. um, I <laughs> think um, there's only one left that will be shipping... Because it'll say, you know, Cupid's Arrow shipping November. And there's one more that's going to be saying something shipping December. But everything else is ready right now. So And whatever it is that will be shipping in December must be whatever the March one Would be March. So something yeah. rainy. Because they were all springy. going. Yeah. They were all about three months ahead of each other. Three months ahead of time so that you can make this for mm -hmm. the holiday. The other thing I'm just going to mention, we were talking about this at our last uh, retreat, is that for Christmas gift giving, you know, we... Um, which now we're starting to get in a panic, right? <laughs> Tis the season. <laughs> yes. yes, we're all panicking because we've done the math of, oh, no, no. But um, so we think a lot about making things for people, which yeah. is a really, really nice gift is to give them something to make. But there's so many of us that have daughters, nieces, neighbors, granddaughters that sew to give them the gift of a kit. Yeah. You know, to just say, oh, I got this for you. And even a couple of them, I mean, depending upon what you wanted to do, but to give them something that they can make themselves is super awesome. I used to love that. Yeah. One of my, I mean, you know, thinking back, we were talking about this the other day, that when I was 10 years old, I got a box of fabric, and it was random leftover stash fabric from my aunt and my cousin's. And I still, every once in a while, think about that. That was like the best present ever, yeah. that I got this <laughs> stash of fabric. You know, that I could do anything I wanted. I didn't have to go beg and borrow yeah. you know, for my own pieces. So, anyway. Yeah. So, That's anyway. True. So, yeah, you can. Uh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, the gift of a kit is super awesome. Yes. All right. Well, that was a fast one. All right. I've got. Uh, Moda. Three. Moda boxes over here. Ooh. Is it Three Sisters? Um, three Sisters and Howard Marcus. They worked together. Oh, the... Um, um, this must be the co collection for uh, a cause. Collection for a cause. Oh. 
This is beautiful. Mm. So yeah, it's three sisters with kind of a um, French general look. It's it not really French general, kind of a but French general, but it's like if three sisters and French general Had a baby. came together with a little <laughs> bit of historical textures. This is, this is where we're at. Mm. It's really pretty. That red is beautiful. Oh, and that one's, um, is that the linen, linen. one? It's linen and it's script. Or just regular light. Down my, down my, um, right? Perfect alley for you. Mm. All right, there's three boxes of this gorgeousness. Oh. Um, and they're 10 yard cuts, so my assumption is we probably Ooh. may have gotten the whole thing. Probably. So, tens, which means there's gonna be a fight more over the script pieces, as there usually is. And there's- Always, order now. Yeah, well, and, <laughs> right now. And go there's right now. obviously a larger print because I see a small print, a medium. But there's definitely a large scale something in here. So we'll unbox the rest, take the plastic off, and then we'll show you up close. And I do have a pre-cut box over there, so I'm gonna cut that open and see if it's pre-cuts for this particular collection. Okay, so etchings is what this one is called. It is a gorgeous, super and, super beautiful. Um, you might have heard us call it a collection for a cause. So Mark Dunn, the owner of Moda Fabrics, has done it for the last, gosh, 10, 15 years? Oh, maybe more. Maybe more than that. Mm -hmm. He picks a collection, I think a year, maybe every um, collection for a cause. Is I it every quarter? I think it might be every quarter. If it's not every quarter, I'll bet it's at least two times, if not two three times, times per year. Okay. He is a really generous, yeah, kind, kind really man. Mm -hmm. um, and it's really cool. So this one in particular, for every um, yard sold, um, a portion of that, you know, money goes towards um, a cause. And this collection is going to Parkinson's disease. Yeah. Yeah, I so, think that's really nice. So right? everything okay. sold, so we buy it, and all of those proceeds will go to, um, I don't know if he has an end number of what he raises. He usually tells us that on the next, you know, collected for a cause, he'll say, what you know, is. last time we did etchings and it made X amount of dollars. So mm -hmm. just something fun to keep it. And again, generosity. I think quilters are a, mm -hmm. a very special breed of people. Mm -hmm. I think... Um, we are all giving generous. Yeah. I mean, spending the amount of money we do for a quilt for just to give to, <laughs> to somebody give away. just because it's something we love to do. And mm -hmm. um, so I think it's very special. And I love that he does. He's that. the same as us. Yeah, that he yeah. believes in the same That's thing. Right. As everyone needs a little piece of the pie to keep the thing rolling, whether yeah. it's um, research or just because, you know, it's worth worth a co worth causing for whether it's because I know one of the collect I think two during COVID, um, they were for food, food banks. He did oh, national right, right, food right. banks. So they were the right. same ones. I know, like, Lynette Anderson, she does mm -hmm. a lot that are for um, humane societies, mm -hmm. for cats and dogs and stuff mm -hmm. like that. And that's why she gets so many cat and dog collections. It's because mm -hmm. those particular ones Rescues are and... for mm -hmm. um, those fundraising. So yeah. super cool. And um, bonus, it's Moda Fabric. And double bonus, this one is gorgeous. Really pretty. Um, it really, is, we were I, we've just... already been shopping. <laughs> already said this. Oh, I have some of this left. <laughs> yeah. um, and deciding what we would do with it. Yeah. Um, so we'll show it to you first and then we'll rattle off some ideas we have yeah. um, for how we would use it's it. It's really cool. Um, it's and really then, pretty. Oh, uh, yeah. We do oh. have pre-cuts. That box was full of um, pre-cuts. And so do you want to show the pre-cuts first? So the pre-cuts, sure. um, of course, we have the oh, 10 inch squares. You don't have to open with plastic. Okay. So 10 inch squares, mm -hmm. uh, really nice. And then a uh, fat quarter packet. And then there's also the five inch strips. I mean, five inch squares, I mean. And then the little um, mini charms. And the mini charms are two and a half inch. And there's quite a few projects. I was gonna tell you, oh my gosh, Allie at the retreat mm -hmm. did a um, uh, split nine patch out of two and, and a half inch squares. <gasps> oh my god! That was probably the cutest thing so ever. <gasps> I never even thought about growing that small. Oh, it was just adorable. Oh, yeah, cute. it went together really well. So anyway, cute little things. And then of course the two and a half inch strips. So Love it. You can do all of that stuff, but that quarter is really nice. All right, and then did you pan across no, all of it? No, I have not yet. Sorry, because I was totally in your way. It's okay. And what's really cool also about the collection is there's a few of those linen blends Mm -hmm. I think you saw when we were unboxing, and then we found another one. Gorgeous. We're going to do something a little crazy. And we're going to start from this end. Let's start from this end. I feel like I have, want to start with this one first. That is 
That is just beautiful. And it's just that, a beautiful piece. It's that really pretty taupey gray, mm-hmm. which is a weird color to say, but it's not truly truly gray, but it has those taupe and white mm-hmm. accents that are just to die for. And then this is one of the small prints. You'll see this particular print, and you can see there's kind of that little tealy blue, the red, and then that really nice green. And this is the first of the large floral prints. It is so beautiful. All of the little pink, blue, and red flowers. Here's another one of the small prints, and it's just a little bit more um, elaborate. Quite a few more things in there, but just beautiful. It could be, I mean, it's not a Christmas line by any means, but you could almost make somebody believe that that's holly or something, but this is the same one. So we've got the taupey gray background, and then there's this, um, I don't know, like robin's, robin's, egg, egg, blue? robin's mm-hmm. egg blue background, and then again, the same um, same fabrics. There's that really beautiful tonal, the small print. We've seen that one before. And then there's a teeny tiny little baby calico that is just so That's cute. That's really cute. I love that piece. And then here again is the big one. And look at these flowers. These have so then gray flowers instead of blue ones, pink, and then that red. That is just a gorgeous piece of fabric. Yeah. So really again, is. you can see why when we were thinking about what we would do, a lot of it is that you see these lines where um, uh, you just don't want to cut up the fabric. So here's the red background in the large print. It almost looks different. I mean, it's funny yeah. that just changing the background color, you see different things. But, but so many times when the fabric is so gorgeous, it's uh, you don't want to cut it up into little pieces. So the challenge is to find a pattern that really shows off the fabric. And many times that ends up being kind of a large pieces, uh, quilts that have large pieces. And so the second bonus is that it goes together pretty quickly. This is a little tone and tone. Can you see that little pattern? Kind of a little paisley It's kind of paisley-ish. Mm-hmm. Or as we like to call it, Presley-ish. <laughs> Look at that piece. I love that piece. I love this piece. It's like Look wallpaper, man. Together. I know, that's gorgeous. Oh, it's just... I just can't decide. I think if I only had to pick nine for a, a quilt, I think it would be difficult <laughs> for me. And this. I love that one. Oh. And you can kind of tell it's on an ivory background. Mm-hmm. Um, it's coming out pretty white, but it's Is it, Oh, no. It's definitely ivory. Mm-hmm. Beautiful. We've seen this one a couple times before. And here is this large print on the ivory background. Check that out. Oh. oh. I love that. Pink. That red and the red is just such a soft red, it's so beautiful. And then here's another small print, beautiful. And then the stuff with the ivory background. So, this is the first that we've seen with the script. So, this script is white on that ivory, and I'm not sure what it says. I should try to read it. It definitely says something, it's some sort of poetry or something um i will close lectures bays i don't know something has come and wish you would let my writing by sending my best respects to i don't know something about the enlisted so i feel like it's something i'm not sure what's going on but i need to figure out what it says but anyway beautiful so this is gray on ivory and then oh my goodness it's, gracious I, this is my oh favorite piece. my gosh <gasps> this is going to sell out quickly because you don't need anything except this look at that piece of fabric oh my gosh i love everything about it i love everything about it everything about it there's these beautiful flowers in the background butterfly peace gratitude heart a little clock, iris, just a, just beautiful, just absolutely beautiful, gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. And then that same piece on linen, love it, which is really nice. And I think that not only on linen, I think it has just a titch different more colors. color mm-hmm. to it, just a little bit. And what's really nice about these linen pieces is that it's 15% linen, uh, 85% cotton, so it's just a little bit heavier. So then what happens is um, 
Uh, it won't make any difference. You can put it in your quilt. It's totally washable. Throw it in the dryer. You can stitch right through it. Everything is fine. But if you wanted something a little bit heavier because you're going to make maybe a tote bag or something, then um, you have that option. And then there's this one. Should we start? And again, whatever whatever it is that that says. And I think it's not in order. I think that they it says, because if you keep reading... Um, I don't know. I think it's script, anyways. Even if it has, it's definitely thing. script. It definitely cool. says words, but I don't think because, like, I think about like that um, Emily Dickinson one that I still am so enamored with. It truly is all of her poetry that's on there, and we don't have it. Don't look for it. But, but, um, but this I think is not that. It's just fun script, and you know, who knows what they're talking about? Mm -hmm. Something. Um, yeah. I don't even care. I just like it. Just no like one's going to cover up and go, what does this say? Yeah, let's read it. Yeah. And then, um, so I'll show you some of the, um, this is uh, Hollywood. And yes. this. And I would do this one totally different with this particular collection. Because I would totally do, of course, this one. So you would need five and, five yards? Five and a half. Five and a half yards of this awesome piece. But then for my blocks, instead of doing monochromatic, I would do teal and red or i'd probably do red and the gray would be more in my life but make those bold make that the bold piece and just mm -hmm. love this one just, mm -hmm. it mm -hmm. doesn't matter you can also we've done a hollywood where we did a large floral print yeah do as floral the and then do the taupe ivory ones mm -hmm. as your accent you could totally do that if and you're more this is just so fast because this is one of those things that if you want the fabric it to be all about the fabric this is the Emily Dickinson poetry fabric. And then all it is are these sort of offset squares. And then um, and then the whole thing is sort of offset and it makes this big queen size quilt mm -hmm. and super fast, really, really fast. Yeah. And if somebody is kind of a minimalist or a little bit more modern and they really want something that doesn't look super um, quilty mm -hmm. uh, um, yeah. and maybe, um, uh, too elegant or whatever. I, I think it's just sort of a nice yeah. option. So you would do five and a half yards of your large piece, whatever that does, whatever makes you happy. And then I would get six half yard cuts, right? I mean, I know you do fat, you do 12 fat quarters. I do fat quarters, but I would do six half yard cuts. And the fat quarters, I think I say 10 fat quarters because it's mm -hmm. easy for us to kit that up. Um, and that gives mm -hmm. you a lot to choose from, um, but you have a lot left good over. Good luck but... choosing only six. I know. That's going to be the hardest. <laughs> That'll it be the really hardest is. part. <laughs> yeah. It really, really is. Yeah. The hardest part yeah. will be just trying to narrow it down to do what you need. But you need at least five and a half yards and six half yard cuts to coordinate. But to make a yeah. queen size one. And this is another one. We have quite a few that just um, will show off the fabric if you really like the fabric. Mm -hmm. And this one is with a, is this with the layer? Cut? Yeah. So this is a 10 inch square. And a border print. Now this is just like a four inch border, but um, definitely gonna have to do like six inches or seven inches if you're gonna do a yeah. big floral on the other side. And it takes a layer cake. Yeah. So 10 inch squares. And this one is called second slice? Second slice. Yeah, second slice. Super, but you can see how it really does just show off the fabric. Mm -hmm. um, but big enough nice. pieces so that makes, and super, super fast. We have a, a video. Mm -hmm. You can link the video. Yeah. I'll okay. link it in the description below, or Great. maybe I'll have it air next. I think it would also make a really pretty log cabin. Um, mm -hmm. You'd almost have to do a scrappier log cabin, um, like Mom's Curved Log Cabin. She has a video of that one that uses um, two and a half inch jelly roll mm -hmm. and an inch and a half background. Um, yeah. Only because the hardest part about a log cabin, I think, if it's not scrappy, is deciding only six darks and six lights, or four and four. Yeah, or three and three. Yeah, I think that's the hardest part mm -hmm. is not making it scrappy. So you do have to have, you know, these three colors here, these three colors there. But mm -hmm. um, with the curvy log cabin and the, with using the jelly roll makes that ability a little easier. You get a little bit of everybody that makes you happy. You might have to take out some of the lights because of your background to make the curve. But that's, you know, doable for the greater good. Yeah. So. <laughs> okay, so right. we'll move etchings. this. We'll move this aside. Um, and, and then, then I have we'll... two more um, big boxes. Open. Okay, good. Excellent. Okay, so we have uh, what we think is an ocean box because it's rattling. But before we do that, because uh, um, we have notions box and then we have more fabric. Box one of two. Yeah. 
But the other thing is that um, I just wanted, to, in case I forget to mention this again, this morning we talked about our next uh, cause because this is why a good time to talk. About oh yeah, yeah. Quilt for a cause. So you know, hey, you know, we, <laughs> we support Moda and their stuff. But uh, we just finished our bra auction, and thank you guys for helping us raise over eighteen thousand dollars for that. Mm -hmm. But um, our next one is um, McKay Memorial, and so we have a little nursing home uh, in our community. Forty-two Lizzie. bed. I don't know. Did you guys hear that? She's, she's fluffing the carpet. She's scratching the carpet to get yeah. it off. It's it's not going to get any softer. No. Um, <laughs> but anyway, uh, we have a little uh, forty-two bed nursing home that is nonprofit. Uh, because it is county owned, which is very, very unusual that it's not a privately owned, it's run by tax dollars. Um, uh, so it's very nice. We take anybody, we take care of everything. It doesn't make any difference. But the other thing is that um, we can't spend tax funds for special things for the residents because it's oh you know, tax, sure. tax money. Mm -hmm. So what we want to do every, every year we pick something that's important, something that we've wanted to do, and then we raise money for it through the foundation. And so this year it's, we want everybody to have a smart TV, um, because so many people, Oh, you know, dad's going to the nursing home. Let's give him that big old Sony, you know, or whatever. And so, well, at just um, the cost you guys have for cable alone is probably right. We want lot. to get rid of our cable cable bill. And, um, and then that way also, it's not only getting rid of the cable bill, getting rid of the old TVs that break. Mm -hmm. And then what do they have? And then also, um, having something that's a little bit larger screen, we definitely have remote controls for everything and that option of having 157 channels yeah. for free. There is no other added expense for right. families or anybody. So anyway, we're super committed to doing that and we need to raise the money for that. So we talked about it a little bit this morning, but um, Maisie was a hot mess this morning. So I'm not sure if you caught all of what was going on, but that's what we were talking about. And we have a page that will be up. Instead of us doing it like an auction, like we did before, we're gonna turn the page live at 5 p.m. next Friday, the 17th, mm -hmm. it will be live, and first e person to get it gets it. Page. Mm -hmm. Everything on there. So we'll have quilts for. I think I don't think we even mentioned this morning that the quilt this morning we think we're going to sell that for 200 bucks, mm -hmm. and so that's the way it'll be. It'll just 200 dollars. First person to have the cash in hand. I mean, you know, say I want it and buy it and check out, um, gets it, yeah. and. Um, oftentimes, by the time you buy the kit, the batting, the backing, the binding, the labor, I mean, all of it will be, a, it you know, a, yeah, it'll all be a good deal. And all of it will go 100% uh, mm -hmm. of the money that we raise will go for the McKay Foundation. And I wanted to show you, I thought that's why, that we'll just keep showing you little snippets of things. So we had mentioned this morning that... Um, Happy Hollow Designs. Happy Hollow Designs. I can never think of them. Mm -hmm. Their address was Yellow Brick Road. So, so every, always I have, and I will always say to her, what's the name of the company, the Yellow Brick Road? And she'll yeah. say. Then people are amazed with her little twin talk. Yeah, twin Yellow, talk. Ha, she'll say, Brianna, Yellow Brick Road. And instead of saying, you know, <laughs> Dorothy, I say, happy hello. hello. <laughs> and they're like, ah, uh, no. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. We would win if we ever played against you guys. <laughs> Password or yeah. whatever. Yeah. We would totally win. Um, <laughs> so anyway, so these were um, Happy Hollow Designs. Uh, uh, she just did such a nice job and uh, she closed her company. Yeah. And so we can no longer get the patterns, no longer get the stuff. So we don't need the samples anymore. I already have a ton of her stuff in my house, as does Brianna. Yeah. Um, and so we're going to sell these. So this cute little, you can hang it up. Um, there is a little thing up here where you can hang it, but we just had it pinned yeah. up. Yeah. So, so it's just All this cute little crescent moon Santa. He um, is just Don't tell Tracy because she's going to have to figure out how to shoot that when she gets back. Because she will knock it that week off. Or the no. week after. No. Don't tell her. Don't tell her. <laughs> don't tell her. And how is she going to ship this thing? I don't know. <laughs> oh, she don't want to know. She'll figure it out. She don't want to know. She's our secret this weapon. This is not scary. She's like, I think it is. The Jingle Bell Man. And isn't this cute? Um, so this also, is with the fundraiser, cute. you'll notice on our website, again, fabricpatch.net, on the home tab, you know, on the bar across our website, you'll see something that says uh, McKay Foundation or fundraiser. Um, you will notice if you click on that, it'll say, oops, page doesn't work um, because it will not work until Friday we the 17th at 5 p.m. So it's just there so you know where to go mm -hmm. at that time. Set your timer, set your alarm, that you have a date. Um, mm -hmm. Another thing you'll need to know, it'll be 5 o'clock um, Pacific Standard Time. We will be closed. So make sure you are with somebody who can help you make those purchases. Um, 
if you st struggle doing online purchases, go mm -hmm. sit with somebody, have someone come over for dinner, but oh, but first, yeah. um, you need to help me and yeah. then I will feed you. Yeah. Um, also keep in mind, so that thing, also keep in mind that our website has like a one minute delay, which means if I am trying to buy this really cute little crescent guy as his mom and I check out first. And I check out within 60 seconds, it will sell us, both. sell it to both of us. And we look at the time and we give it to the first person and refund the second person. We and call you. also if you're um, not hurrying up enough, someone can steal it out of your cart and then you will not be yeah. able to check out. So some struggles, you know, working with fighting with the world of YouTube and anybody else who has that same alarm on their phone, but, um, super fun things. Yes. Uh, I was gonna tell you this morning and I totally forgot about businesses going out. Harrison's diamonds. I saw that. <gasps> we have a local, we have a local I got a jewelry private text store. message. I didn't tell you about that. I, that they have my I did too. <laughs> I did too. I was going to screenshot it and send it to you and then you, you screenshot it and send it to me. Yeah. 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 So yes. Harrison's is a local um, jewelry store. It's been here for a long time. 30 years? 35 35 years. 35 years. He, for a Kristen, Kristen, they were here for 35, Christine. but I think before someone else had them. Yeah. But yeah, really, we always we go in there for Christmas store. gifts and yeah, mm -hmm. so we'll have to go in 70% off. Yeah. Um, yeah. Sad to see them go. Yeah. And they were pretty upset. Like I read, I uh, I yeah. uh, watched their whole interview and they were teary eyed. I don't think they're ready, but their life is ready to change gears. And I can relate. Yeah, I get that. So, but it's nice because I have somebody to pass the reins to. Yeah. As will you. <laughs> uh, but uh, if you don't, you know, gosh, yeah. you don't have any out. Yeah. You know, if you don't have so, somebody. Yeah. See, but I don't know what our lives will be for jewelry if they're not here because that is the go to place. I mean, yeah, there's Harry Richie's, mm -hmm. there's K Diamonds, but there's nothing like your homegrown jewelry. They always had this um, snow insurance thing. We should start that to carry oh. on the tradition <laughs> that, um, yeah. that yeah, snow insurance. And I don't remember exactly how it worked, but there was something that you would buy. And if you bought it between here and here, if it snowed on this day, you got it for free. Yeah. It was this little insurance thing. Uh, not insurance. It was a lottery. It's a lottery. They called it a lottery that if it snowed the, on this one day, anytime. You on, picked on the, you on picked this, on your bingo board. Yeah. Then you, um, you got your purchase for free. So you'd buy everything and then we would wait until and it was always like after Christmas. And so it was kind of fun. And then I asked one time, it's like, well, how, how does that even work? They had to get an insurance policy for it. Oh, and that's how, because of course did. they pay it out yeah. and a lot of people do it. And so they had to get an insurance policy and then the insurance paid. Oh. So it never worked for me. I always, it never snowed on the day that I yes. wanted snow, yeah. but, but anyway, yeah. anyway, so yeah, so, so good things. Yeah. So All right. anyway, watch for that. We'll keep reminding yeah. you, but set your alarm 5 PM Pacific time, mm -hmm. Friday the 17th, and it'll turn on and. Um, yeah. and we've talked about in the past about doing like auction sites and stuff, but they take so much of a percentage so of it much. and we really want to raise as much as possible. We take nothing, mm -hmm. no administrative fees, no anything. We give 100% of what we've raised, whether it's the bra auction or any of the other things that we've done and this yeah. as well. And so, yeah, that, that 20% or more. Is a lot. Gets bad. It's bad enough to pay the PayPal fees. Yeah. So, all right. Okay. So we have, uh, we have some notions. notions. So out of the box, uh, the quilt builder card decks, you know, these are my, um, favorite things ever. Um, so there was set one, set two that had even more ones. There is a set three coming out any minute. Like I, they're pre-ordered on my side. They're supposed to be released sometime in November. So I do have those on pre-sale on the website. So you can get, if you already have one and two and you're hooked on them like I am, um, you can go ahead and pre-purchase number three. Again, I don't know. You're looking for I was, yeah, open. I was thinking we had um, one that was open. I think it's open. on the other side of that kit. To the left, maybe? Oh, it's right there above the computer. I lied. Oh, yeah. Um, you can get number three now. I can't tell you when it's going to be shipped here in November, but you will get it before Christmas, probably before Thanksgiving. Honestly, I just don't. I don't have a drop dead date for you. Some cards. So, so much fun. I love them all. It really is a really cool thing. So, um, looks like a little coaster. Yeah. And so it's got this really cool picture on one side, and then you want to make that. Well, then, boom, boom, flip it around. Shazam. All you have to know is what size you want your finished block to be. Yep. So if you want it to be, what are our choices? Sixteen inch, twelve inch finish, ten inch finish. Eight inch, six inch finished. So or a five. Oh, 
there's even a 36 on yeah. it. Yeah. She my glasses. I'm kind of just making stuff up. Then, <laughs> um, then you, you look and it tells you, you know, your units and what size those should be. So mm -hmm. you have to know how to make a half square triangle and end up with it being the size that you need. Yep. It does give you, and it does give you some information in here about how to do that. And but those what's are these really nice colored yeah. cards in here. Yeah. They give you your how to read the cards um, yeah. and all that. So any um, techniques to make half square triangles or anything, it, they do give you all that information, just like a book would. Yeah. It's just going to give you an A card form. Yeah. Yardage for your quilt backing, mm -hmm. how to do your binding, yardage cool. for binding, how to make a half square triangle. Yeah, all of those okay. things. It's it's super cool. Yeah. Really, and again, if we were talking earlier, uh, I don't know. Yeah. It, we, it takes us so long to do this, that um, to give a gift of sewing yeah. to, um, for Christmas, if you don't have time to make something, give them a kit. Super, super, super good cool. for a beginner. And at the moment, um, uh, card deck one and card deck two do not have any duplicates. I am quite sure. Oh, card deck three won't either. Won't either. I mean, you know, us quilters and blocks. Yeah. We got a million of them. Yeah. Just how you lay them out. Yeah. So I think it is fantastic. I love them. I cannot and wait. The to kids see it. just like playing with them. They do picking them out. Yeah. 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 It's like goldfish. Yeah. Okay. All right. And then um, it looks like we have. So this must be. Oh. Oh yeah. Reordered uh, Villa Rosa design cards. So we've got Maid Marian. A uh, fun one using ten fat quarters. But again, I one that's going to show off the fabric. So again, etchings, the one we just opened, mm -hmm. would be stunning. Even the um, Celestial one would be really pretty on this one. It's going to really show off your fabric really well. Um, and then news flash. So these um, are ones that we've reordered because we are on an okay. auto ship program mm -hmm. with Villa Rosa. So all of their new patterns, we get all, they do five new patterns a month. And so we get those. And so these are ones that we sold out of all 100 of them. Yeah. And so we just had to reorder more, which is kind of cool. Yeah. All right. We have some books. Um, yep. This one, Playful Pre-Cut Quilts. 15 new projects with mix and match blocks. Cute. So this would be perfect because, again, you know, you make one or two blocks and then you end up with some alternating patterns and so it's kind of cool so the 15 blocks will be in there but it is kind of nice just to see finish yeah. stuff i don't know if you can see that kind of pretty some cool um and this there. one is 60 fabulous paper piece stars it includes 10 new national park blocks so this is like an oldie and a goodie like oh, maybe a yeah. reprint um, mom has one have this that's spiral round because we cut antiqued. Yeah, she is the first edition. This yes, is I the do. Second edition. Yeah. Um, these are all paper pieced blocks, um, but in the very first quarter of the book, she talks about how to do it, how to print, um, how how to do paper piecing. But then you have all of these blocks, Ooh. just stunning paper piece blocks. And paper piecing is just sewing lines. You don't have to sew straight. You just have to be able to sew on a line. Paper piecing it's, is what Brianna did um, from the time she the was shows, about, man. Yeah, from about the age of six until about 10. Mm -hmm. She paper pieced because it came out perfect. Watch no matter what her skill level, all she had to do mm -hmm. was sew on that line, sew it's on that line, great. sew um, on that if line. If you, I only have a couple of these books. If you purchase this book and um, you are getting into the world of paper piecing and you have questions or whatever, um, if you purchase this book, I will send you our. Um, paper piecing class. We did a, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. a Zoom class um, that we recorded and um, I have that. It's uh, one, I don't know if we even sell it on our website anymore, but it is class setting. So it's kind of weird, mm -hmm. but we are showing you how to do it and, and yeah, it's not, answering questions for the yeah. Zoom class. Yeah, it's so, not on our regular YouTube It's free not a page. free class because it was yeah. a recorded Zoom class. But if yeah. you purchase this book, I will send, I'll email you a link to that video. So if you are a, um, yeah, Someone who paper pieced a lot, it might not mean anything to you. If you're someone new and just wanting to have we'll a book full of paper pieces, it might give you another demonstration because we both do it differently. So we show you how mom does it yep. and how I do it. Yep. Um, it all comes out exactly the same, but in yep. case you, your brain works a little different. Just how you think. Yeah. And look at this. Quilting with panels. <gasps> and this is a new one yeah the, so um, the one we sold that, so many of and i don't know if i ever have 
Is and it even mm-hmm. still in print? Um, it's called Panel Play. And, and so one. if you're doing so, of course, um, if you are addicted to panels like I am, or if you've done some really cool collage piece or embroidery piece or whatever, and you now want to turn it into a quilt, this book... This one. Floral Irish Chain. This is literally oh, we had a... that panel. Yeah. This is Maybe. a Jacob's Ladder um, with fussy cut blocks. Whether this is a block... Because this is a block panel. But, again, etching. Floral piece. You can't cut up. I don't think you can say oh, that. Sorry. I'll put that part out. A really big piece. <laughs> you don't want to cut up. <laughs> These are pretty. Really pretty. There's some good ideas in here. Yeah, they really are. Really good ideas. And the other thing that's nice is in that other panel book, and again, I'm not even sure if it's still in print, but um, there's things in there that, uh, it's nice that you show that, but that panel has been out of print for forever. And And so now it's kind of fun that some of these are possibly panels that you could have in your stash or that we, oh my gosh, look how cute that is. They're really cute. She talks about it too. And, then and she, she also shows talks you about squaring up your panels because we've yeah. talked about it before that your panel is printed straight. It's just whatever weird stretch that might happen. Um, and you just have to trim it to the image, not to what your ruler thinks the image should be. But she, what's really nice is she talks about that, how to square up a block to put into your piece. I'm going to tell you right now, we don't have enough of these books. No. So. I'm going to order some more. It's pretty smart. We need to order some more. We'll order Look some at more. that one. Show them that one. Where's mm-hmm. your thumb? Look how cute That's that cute. Is. Yeah, offset border look piece. Look how cute that is. Mm-hmm. So look how, and we have right now a panel. We still have that, um, that Wecker Fresh Christmas panel with the snowman. Because look Ooh, at those yeah. colors in there. You could do the cutest. Because mm-hmm. look at that. It's, it's six-pieced blocks. And a mitered border. Yeah. Super slick. That's cute. That would be really cute. Um, I love that. A white uh, white Christmas, I think is what it's. White Christmas. Or white as snow. Oh, I'll cool. move fast. Super fast. A okay. really cool book. Yes. Yeah, super, super cute book. All right. Well, that was fun. Awesome. All right. All right. So <laughs> now you had. Um, let me, let me I have some more fabric. You have some more fabric. Maybe even a panel. So go with your new uh, panel. Move some things here. Okay. Ooh, it's bright. Ooh. Some gold. So so far we've looked. Oh. So so far we've looked at two fabric lines. This one is very different. Some, a dancing what rooster. Is oh, it's chickens. <laughs> Is this, what's her name, Ann Lauer? I don't know. Something to Crow know. About. Benner text by David Galchut. Ann Lauer, you know, does that bright. bright, bright, bright stuff. There must be a panel if there's... Oh, there's a panel. There is. It's a, it looks like there's blocks in it. Ooh, look at these pieces. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Look at that one. This really looks like Ann Lauer-ish. It really does. Wow. Look at him. Oh, my god. He's got all the ladies. He's part peacock right there. Brr. Look at that piece. And look at the way he's walking. Yeah. He he's knows got, it. He's got it going on. He does. All right. So, it is actually a small one. I have three more pieces in here. So, not super large. Oh, but we'll get um, plastic off and a panel. I know. I love that piece. It's almost too pinnish. Yeah. Yeah. It's really cool. I like it. Okay. All right. We'll get plastic off, yeah. cut a panel apart, and then we'll show it to you. I don't know what's happening with my hair. Can, Can you I tell think? that I cut my bangs? Yeah. <laughs> you did it by yourself? On the, you know you have Tracy, right? I know I have Tracy, but it was like 5 o'clock in the morning, and I was over <laughs> it. And then I thought, uh-oh. <laughs> eh, well, you know. <laughs> He's doing good. All right. Something to crow about. Super, super cute. Um, bright, fun. Um, really cool. Really cool. And it's a tiny little line because one, two, three, four, five of them are just really cool blenders. Yeah. And then two are some, uh, they're just super yeah, cool. Yeah, it's pretty small tiny. for the most part. Yeah. So this is the panel and there isn't a line, but there's a little bit of a wide spot. But, um, mm-hmm. so what's kind of nice is that you've got this great big block that's probably about a 20 inch square 
and then these other little ones. So it's really nice. Maybe there's a free pattern. Are you gonna Maybe look? I'll look. But what you could do mm -hmm. is you can put this in the center, put a couple borders, and then do there is a border print and put these in the corner. Oh, that's a really good idea. Yeah, and just make it super super yeah. fast. Yeah. Chickens. Chickens, chickens and roosters. So yeah, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It, oh, this is not it. There's 11 pieces. And if we start down here again, you can see that there's five that are these. It's the, again, that kind of, it's, if you look real close, it looks like a paisley, um, but it's feathers. Yeah, that's cool. Isn't that cool? So there's a blue, a red. Just not a great texture regardless. Really a great texture. This really cool pink fuchsia. And then I'm just going to skip across. There's also this yellow one. And then there's this green one, teal one, which is really cool because then these pieces, these two are different. So this one, can you see that these are little flowers? And then there's little, this is just cute, 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 cute piece. Mm -hmm. And then this one is a little bit bigger, also flowers but you really have to look at that to know that it's a flower. It's really kind of, this is really cool medallion pieces. And then just a little background. I don't know if you can see that. Mm -hmm. It's kind of a pale cream and yellow. And then here is the border piece. Oh, awesome. almost a double border piece. Yeah, really, really awesome. I like it. And then these really cool two chicken pieces. So it's the same thing. I'll open, maybe I'll open this one. You can probably see it better. So there's the black background or there's this blue background. And see those roosters are like, I don't know, three, three and a half inches. If I put my hand down there. Yeah, maybe, gosh, that's probably, that might be four to four and a half inches and then wide, probably two. They're cool. Yeah. And I love that they're not directional. No. I love that they're all different colors. So yeah. that's some that's some plumage that is right yes. there. Okay, we opened uh, we opened a lot. Yeah, quite so a bit. Three. So we had the celestial metallic mm -hmm. one from um, Louis and Irene. We've got the collection for the cause, which is etchings, Moda. super fantastic Beautiful. with pre cuts. Mm -hmm. um, some books and patterns, mm -hmm. and then something to grow. And. Uh, oh, yeah, and the Riley Blake bench pillow. Riley, a lot. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's why lot. it's late that's... for us. <laughs> All right. Okay. All right, so I think that's it. Uh, we'll see you guys again. If you don't see us this week for something else, uh, we'll see you, for uh, we'll see you Sunday. Sunday box opening. All right. Yeah. Have a great right. day. Bye. Bye. Thank you for watching our video. We invite you to leave a comment, hit the like button, or better yet, subscribe to our channel so you never miss an episode. You can also visit our Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, or Pinterest pages, or find all of those things and our online store at fabricpatch.net.